guys, it's Megan. So today I have possibly the most random haul I've ever done and I feel so far away from you guys like you, the camera's way back on my vanity and I'm on my bed because this is I don't know this is like the location I really like to do hauls in um, but you feel really far away today for some reason so um, anyhow I have so much random stuff this is from like the past month or two um, I have Sigma, Sephora, Laura Mercier, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, DVDs, Marshalls, Amazon. It is super, super random. I will start with the makeup y stuff because um, I have it in this separate box. And I mean, that's what we're all here for, right? So I made my first order with Sigma. And I think they were, I don't know if they were having a sale. I just really wanted to try some of their brushes. So it came really nicely packaged and this little box and then your receipt and stuff comes in this nice envelope which I thought was really a, a great touch and all of the brushes came in this little thing so it was really really nicely presented um, and I bought three brushes the one brush that I really really wanted was the tapered face f25 and I bought this specifically to use with my meteorite powder and I was actually expecting it to be a lot bigger it's actually pretty I don't know compact um, now I pretty much use it for uh, bronzer I really like it for bronzer because it has that nice point but I bought it for the meteorites and it works well for it but it's just not fluffy enough for what I was hoping it to be but it is a really nice brush these are really I've never experienced a Sigma brush before and um, it's really really nice and it has like the name of it on it and everything. It's extremely soft and it hasn't shed at all and I've washed it I think two times. Um, so I, it's not exactly what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be bigger and fluffier but it is super nice. And then I bought two um, eye brushes and I got the pencil E30 which both of these are used um, this is just a really dense pencil brush and I was watching a lot of Jaclyn Hill's old videos at the time and even still she uses a pencil brush a lot so I didn't have one I thought I would buy it it's really nice nice and dense um, but very soft as well and uh, yeah again really high quality materials and then this one was kind of a random brush that I bought and I was looking up like good Sigma eye brushes and a blog post from Emily Noel 83 came up and this was one of her favorites and this is from the per performance kit and it's the blending E36 and it's just this little it's so small this little blending brush if you compare it to the pencil brush they're like very similar in size. So this is like an itty bitty blending brush and I haven't reached for this a lot but what I like it for is sometimes inner corner or like blending out the bottom lash line or today I used it for like really like in a specific area but very diffused right in the crease. So I definitely think it has a place. I have never seen a brush like this so it was very intriguing to me and I do like all three and I would definitely say that Sigma has really nice quality brushes. So I'm really happy with my first impressions on these brushes and the shipping I think was pretty quick so that was awesome and then the free sample that came with it was the little Spa Glove, which is just like a one-sided little thing and I tried it and I really like it if you guys watch my um, Let's catch up video. I showed this and I really do like it I think that it's a cool little addition a nice little luxury thing to have to make your brushes really clean So I thought that was an awesome little bonus and then it came with a uh, coupon for five dollars off that spa glove and it the code is spa glove all capitals and it's good through the end of this year so if you wanted to get the full size of the spa glove now you have five dollars off so that was like cool to get a little freebie with it and uh yeah so my first experience with sigma was very positive and i probably will buy more brushes from them in the future Okay, my only purchase from Black Friday, I mean Cyber Monday, was on Laura Mercier's website. And um, 
I didn't intend on buying anything on Cyber Monday. I was trying to be really good and not really tempt myself but I went on Laura Mercier's website and they were having like these amazing free sample bags with any purchase and I think it was also free shipping with any purchase I can't remember though so I bought this mascara which I heard Lisa Lisa D1 talk about she mentioned it like in passing but it really stuck with me and I remembered it and I looked up reviews and they were pretty like what people were saying about it was basically what I like to hear for mascaras so I got the Laura Mercier faux lash mascara intense exaggeration in black and so it just comes in this cute little box and I just received this package um, yesterday yeah it came yesterday and so I haven't used the mascara but this is the tube it's kind of like a chunky metallic -y tube. The tube reminds me of L'Oreal Voluminous, which is my favorite mascara. And let's open it together and see what it's all about. This is a giant, giant brush. Like this is even bigger than L'Oreal Voluminous. So um, I'm really excited. It does look like a brush that I would like. It's like a lot of natural fiber bristles. I don't know. It just seems like it would be a good one. So I'm going to be trying that out and I was really, really excited to get a new mascara because I'm pretty much out of all my mascaras. I'm just now using up uh, my last L'Oreal Voluminous and I finished up all my mascara samples. So I thought that it would be a fun time to try a new one. And this free sample bag is what pushed me over the edge to make the purchase. And isn't this so precious? Like it's just a little bag and even just this itself would be like really cute but it's full of samples so the first thing is the Laura Mercier Bo body and bath amber vanilla souffle body cream and this is going to be my new obsession it is so cute this little size and it smells insanely amazing oh my god I can smell it through the thing but it has like a protective thing on it so let's take this off oh my god it smells so amazing and I've heard, there goes the cap, I've heard nothing but good things about the Laura Mercier like body products so I am so so excited to try this and this is like a nice size like all these samples in this little bag were nice sizes. Then it came with the foundation primer and protect with um, SPF 30 and she always throws in her foundation primers into like every free sample set. And there was also this Flawless Skin Moisture Cream, um, SPF 15, so this is like a day cream and it says for normal combination skin. This is a cute little size and it has a protective lid on it, so I really love that. Then it came with this itty bitty size of her Universal Setting Powder. And I think this is the cutest thing ever. It is so small and adorable, but it still feels super luxurious. So I love that. And then what made me decide to get this gift set, because there was a few gift sets to choose from, this is why I picked this one. And it came with her mini fan brush. And I have wanted a fan brush, specifically hers, four years and look how cute and small it is like look how small oh my god it's so cute but like just imagine putting on highlight with this like oh my god it's so cute and adorable and this is the reason that I made this entire order because I have wanted this fan brush so badly and I didn't know it would come with this short of a handle so I have no idea how I'm gonna like store this but it's just so cute and I'm dying over it and I just thought that was like such an awesome gift set so for free to get with the mascara I thought this was like a really good deal and I'm just excited about the whole thing okay this is something that I bought a long time ago and you guys have probably heard me talk about it it's the Burberry eyeshadow in Rosewood I bought this probably like a month or two ago I can't even remember um, but this is my newest one of the Burberry shadows now I have four and this one I really wanted because everyone says that this is like one of their favorites and I do like it but I still think that it's like more powdery than the other ones so this is the swatch I kind of blended it out but if I just do a normal swatch do you see how much like powder there is I don't know I 
I might be like overanalyzing it or something, but it just seems like it's a little po more powdery than my other Burberry shadows, and I still really love it. The color is super beautiful, um, but I just am not like so, so in love with it for some reason. I don't know what the issue is, but I also ordered Midnight Plum like almost two months ago at this point, and it was on back order from Nordstrom, but Midnight Plum is like the one Burberry shadow I like need to have in my life but it's never available so when I saw it available I ordered it and then um, it was supposed to ship like a month after I ordered it. it never came then it was back ordered again and then they canceled my order because they couldn't fulfill it so I'm really upset about that I was waiting to do this haul to get that eyeshadow um, and I still really, really want it. So if you guys know if like any other stores have the Midnight Plum Burberry shadow, let me know because it's really frustrating to me that I can't buy it, but I want it so bad. So that's that. All right. The rest of this stuff in this box is from Sephora. So you guys know I got the perfume sampler set from the friends and family sale and so I redeemed it for the Tom Ford Black Orchid yay and so this is the one fluid ounce and um oh my god it's just so chic this box and um so I just gave them my little redeeming gift certificate and I got this for free it was awesome so it's just this little size it is super small um but the bottle is super, super gorgeous. I feel like this is a very, like, unisex, like, packaging. I don't know. And, um, like I've said, this, I hate the smell of this, like, from the bottle. Smelling it from the bottle, I'm like, ugh, it smells awful. And, like, for the first 30 minutes, it just smells absolutely terrible to me. But when it sets on my skin, it is insanely beautiful. So I'm really, really excited to have this. This is a $70 perfume that I got with that um, that little gift certificate thing. And it's just a super amazing fragrance. And I'm really excited to get it for not full retail price. So that was awesome. All right. Then the other day... Oh yeah, last week I made an order with Sephora because of the $20 off a $50 purchase. So I bought two things. One thing is actually going to be a Christmas present from my sister. I'll show you guys it because I've been talking about it and I just want to share that I got it. It's the um, Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick in Rush. And this color I'm totally, totally obsessed with. And um, like I said, my sister's giving this to me for Christmas, but I want to show you guys it. It is super cool packaging. It's like, I don't know, it's awesome. And then um, this is the color of the lipstick. And I am so excited. I'm not gonna swatch it or anything because I want it to be like fresh and new when I get it for Christmas, but this was something really exciting that I ordered when I made that purchase so I'm gonna set this aside so I can remember to give it to give it to her and then this was a random purchase but like I said I wanted to use this Sigma brush for my meteorites but it wasn't what I wanted so I've been researching powder brushes and um, that day that I was making the purchase, I was researching powder brushes on Sephora. This one came up. I had never heard of it before, but I bought it <laughs> because I was being crazy and impulsive, and I'm really glad that I bought it, but it is a very, very expensive brush. It is the Makeup Forever Professional Number 130 Wavy Powder Brush. It just says wavy on it. I don't know what that means. But it is this insanely soft. Like, you would not believe how soft it is. And there goes a few bristles from it. Um, oh, my God. It is the softest thing I've ever, ever experienced in my entire life. It is so dense. Like, I don't know if you can tell how dense it is. But it's so soft. It's like... I, I can't even explain it, but this was very expensive. This was $55. Yeah. Oh my God. 
but everyone it got like super positive reviews like every review was five stars well almost everyone and then um a lot of people were saying it was perfect for like powder foundation and stuff and i didn't want it for powder foundation but i can really see how this would be perfect for powder foundation because it is dense but it's also fluffy so it really buffs it in this is perfect for the meteorites it fits perfectly in there it's easy to like just get it perfectly in there and kind of like swish it around and then buff it on your face and i wanted a dark colored bristle brush for my meteorites because it's a light colored powder and with the um, brushes that I have for powder, they're like white and so you can't see the powder. So I wanted a dark bristle brush, which was another thing that was making this whole thing very complicated. But this is so perfect. You can see the powder, you can put it on, it's so easy and effortless. And um, I'm super, super happy with this and I definitely want to look into more Makeup Forever brushes. So if you have a favorite brush from this line um please let me know because i am so so impressed and i just can't get over the softness of it so this was like my super exciting purchase from that 20 dollars off so since that other one was a christmas present this i basically got for like 35 dollars, which is still expensive but oh my god so worth it i am totally totally in love with it and then because i did that I hit VIB Rouge and I'm very excited but I am slightly ashamed and um, yeah so I hit VIB Rouge it came with this little intro set welcome to the top <sighs> making us feel very excited that we have spent a thousand dollars in a calendar year and um, then it comes with a little Bite Beauty lipstick. This is like the smallest, cutest thing I've ever seen. It's so cute. And um, it's called Bite for VIB Rouge. And so it comes with that. And then it says Beauty Studio All Access Pass. Um, so is this my card now? Like, no, this can't be. I have to get like a real card, right? So it didn't come with like a new card for me, like a red card, which I was expecting. Um, maybe I have to go in store to get one, but I don't know. Now I feel super fancy and ridiculous for being VIB Rouge, but now it's like free shipping for everything. So I don't have to worry about like, do I have $50? blah 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 so it's very exciting anyhow then i got three free samples the verso super facial serum with retinol 8 i have never heard of this brand um it says that it is from sweden so that's cool um yeah so that is a sample it came with the uh, Guerlain Lingerie de Peau in number two beige Claire, which might actually be a good color match for me. I'm really excited about trying this. So that was something I was excited to see. And then this I'm super excited about. It came with the Nude Pro Genius Treatment Oil. And you guys know the smell of nude products like reminds me of our cleaning products at work. But um, everyone talks about this Pro Genius Treatment Oil. So I'm really excited about these um, free samples. Then I redeemed um, 200 points um, for two 100 point perks. I got this Smashbox, what is this called? Be Legendary Long Wear Lip Lacquer, and it came in the color Coral. It's just so small and cute. I really, I don't know, I thought that this was an interesting looking product, and that is a swatch of the color. It really goes with my corally outfit today and makeup so i thought that was cute and this small size i'll actually be able to like use it so um that was exciting and then this oh my god this is awesome it's um a mini deborah lipman nail polish and this is in um 99 luff balloons oh my god it is so cool um i've never had a deborah lipman glitter before and so it's just like a multicolor extravaganza of glitter it reminds me of like a circus or something it is so gorgeous it's like a pink jelly base with rainbow glitters it is gorgeous and this is like the coolest 100 point perk i've ever seen so love that and then okay even more exciting than anything else was this like promo code sample set and i have been wanting the sample set but i didn't want to make a purchase um 
and then I got that coupon and blah blah blah. So this is the the promo code was like party sub perfect party or something. And it came in this red pouch and I literally had to like try to place my order like 10 times before this was available. Like every time I would put it in my cart and try to check out, it would say un like it was out of stock. Finally, it went through with it and I couldn't be happier. So it came with really, really cool samples. First is the nude um, perfect perfect cleanse omega cleansing jelly and this is a product i am super interested in so i am super excited to try that out came with the living proof um satin hair serum and this is probably something i'm going to pass on to someone else uh the benefit stay flawless 15 hour primer and this is that little one that's like I feel like this was a controversial product. I can't remember. It was that one that's in a stick. Uh, I can't get it out. But like you're supposed to like rub it on your face or something. I'm not sure if I'll actually use it because I think it's like a silicone-y. Um, so that's that. Then it came with the Cover FX Calming Primer, which I really like Cover FX and their primer. So I'm super excited to try that. Um, the Lancome Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. I never really use like makeup company skincare because I find that it has a lot of fragrance in it. So I'll probably pass that on as well. And then the last three samples are basically the reason I wanted this set. Came with a small size of the Fresh Sea Berry Moisturizing Face Oil. So this is the one of the oils that I have wanted to try. And it comes with this cute little size of it. And this is a nice sample size. So I'm super excited about that. Um, also, the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Face Polish. So many people talk about this. I see that it's only about halfway full. But that is still plenty for me to try it out, see if I like it. And I'm just super excited. And then this is the whole reason I wanted this kit. It's the Glam Glow Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. And I have never seen a sample of this green one. This is their newest Glam Glow. And I actually saw that they're coming out with Glam Glow cleansers, um, like so expanding their line from not just masks to also cleansers. So that's pretty cool. Um, but this is the coolest sample in the world to me. And I have tried it once. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I it was worth struggling to get this set to get this sample because this is something I was really interest, interested in purchasing, but I don't want to purchase it without trying it. So this set was amazing and um sephora doesn't always have the best samples so this really made up for all the samples that i've gotten that were kind of crappy um so yeah that was an awesome set all right black friday i have some random stuff to show you guys you have seen both of these shirts from Hot Topic. This is a Sherlock shirt on on Black Friday. Hot Topic always has $10 for their t-shirts, and so I usually pick up one or two. And this is the one I picked up this year. It says, I am Sherlocked, which if you guys watch Sherlock, you'll know what that means, and I really love it. Um, it's Hot Topic has really nice quality shirts, so I love that. And then this is like my favorite thing I've ever bought. It's my Olaf sweater. Oh, it's amazing. It is extremely expensive for what it is. This is like $40, which is bonkers. Um, but now I think they have it for less expensive. I think it's on sale on their website. So those two things were like my most exciting purchases from Black Friday. Then you guys saw this as well. This is that airy scarf that's just like a giant square. And uh, it's just the coziest thing ever. I'll link it down below. Um, so I purchased this and then a bunch of underwear from their Black Friday sale. And it came with this cute tote bag. Um, it's like, like super, super giant. So this would be cool if, I don't know, you are going overnight somewhere or whatever. But I just thought this was like a cool addition for my purchase. Then I have a bunch of random stuff, um, mostly like DVDs and stuff, but I also have really awesome Marshalls goodies. So um, I'll just start with the DVDs. All of these I bought on Black Friday. So Black Friday is my favorite DVD 
purchasing day of the year. I go pretty crazy. I want to expand my movie collection, get the movies that I really liked from that year and maybe some from the past. Um, and this year they had really good prices on awesome movies. So I got Captain Phillips, which is one of the best movies I have ever seen. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Um, we're only missing like two Harry Potter movies and this was one of them. I got The Bourne Ultimatum, which is one of my all-time favorite movies and I can't believe I didn't own this before, but this was a really awesome price for the Blu-ray um, this year. Argo. This is an amazing movie. It's based on a true story. It's really, really interesting. I saw this at a event... Um, at my school last year and it was super awesome and it has Brian Cranston in it so any Breaking Bad fans this is a cool movie to see. Then I got um, the two seasons of House of Cards. These are really nice like if you wanted to collect these they package them really nicely and have really cool pictures on them. So um, now I have season one and two of House of Cards which you guys know I love. Um, we got Star Trek Into Darkness, which is the most recent Star Trek movie. This is an awesome movie. I love that one. This, I hadn't seen this before we purchased it, but my mom wanted this movie really bad, and it's the Lego movie. And this is actually a 3D copy, so if you had a 3D TV, you could watch it in 3D, which is pretty cool. We don't, but um, this was like a really good deal for like the Blu-ray and everything. This movie is hilarious. I had not seen it until we bought the DVD. Um, my family saw it, but I didn't. And this is super funny. Like, if you like Will Ferrell humor, like The Other Guys or 22 Jump Street, like anything like that, you will really enjoy this movie. So the Lego movie was a great purchase this year. Oh, this also, um, from, I ordered a bunch of these on Target's website and with my order came this little coupon code for Target ticket and it's basically like Redbox for online. Um, it's like more expensive than it but it or like maybe Blockbuster for online like you can rent movies or you can purchase movies. Um, so if any of you guys have tried this let me know. I have never heard of it before. So um, yeah they gave me a free rental so that was kind of cool. I bought Maleficent, which I really, really enjoyed this movie. Um, oh, I got Breaking Bad seasons. Okay, I bought the fifth season and then I bought the final season. But now I am <laughs> thinking that these are the same thing. Um, because on Netflix, I'm re-watching Breaking Bad right now and there's only five seasons of it and so is the fifth season the same as the final season because if so now I have like two copies of the fifth season um and it's kind of I mean I'm not sure I don't think it is though because they say different things on the back so I don't know let me know if you guys know I feel really dumb for not knowing how many seasons there are in Breaking Bad um but yeah so I got these two these were the only seasons I didn't have a Breaking Bad so now my collection is complete I also got Dallas Buyers Club this is not a movie I've seen but this won so many awards last year um Jared Leto won like all the awards for this movie and um, I just really want to see it. I know it's a very serious movie but my mom and I really wanted to um, give it a shot especially because it was so highly rated so bought that. I got American Hustle which I saw twice when it originally came out. I really like this movie. I don't think it's a movie for everyone. If you have a short attention span definitely don't see this. Um, if you really like to get invested in a movie, this is a good one for you, but I, it's not for everyone. Okay, I think that's all the DVDs. Um, I wanted to mention that I did get the One Direction CD, which is called Four. It's like the dumbest name for a CD ever. And this is the ultimate edition. And it like comes in a book. Like it, it's literally a book. And so it has like pictures of them and, oh my God, look at Zane. Ugh. He looks so bad with long hair now, I just hate it. Um, but I honestly haven't even listened to this CD yet because I've been so obsessed with the Taylor Swift. 
I just, I haven't even downloaded this onto my computer. So um, I bought that. This is a reminder to myself to give it a shot. Okay, the rest of this stuff, this video is so long, my camera, I had to like restart filming because my camera shut off after like 25 minutes. So the rest of this is some beauty stuff that I randomly picked up. This is not beauty, but this is from Marshalls. And I just thought this was really cute. It's just a notepad and it says ridiculously good ideas. And I don't know, I'm a sucker for notepads that say like cute little things. So I thought this was adorable. Um, I got two pairs of lashes from uh, CVS because they're having their like semi-annual like 50% off 75% off beauty stuff and these were two um, pairs of lashes from the Kardashian line um, so they were both 50% off this is called sparkle lashes and these are called flirt and I know that they're both really crazy um, I just thought they would be fun to have and they were like three dollars each and I don't know the Kardashians have pretty cool lashes so I thought that I would try them so I'm excited about those this is a nail polish I'm really stoked about wearing on my nails this is OPI black cherry chutney and a customer like maybe two months ago at this point I don't even know it's been a long time she had the most beautiful nail polish and I asked her what it was and she said it was black cherry something by OPI and I knew immediately what she was talking about so um this was in insanely hard to find which is really random like I don't I didn't think this was like limited edition but um I finally found it on Amazon for like six dollars with free shipping so um, I finally got it it came in yesterday I'm really excited about using it okay the last things are from Marshalls right now Marshalls is just hitting it out of the park I posted an Instagram picture of these items um, saying you guys have to run to your local Marshalls and buy everything because they are having amazing things so you have to kind of look everywhere these things aren't just like overflowing on their shelves like you really have to look behind stuff you have to know what packaging looks like know what brands to look for um so just be very like patient and really look around the store because you might find some amazing things okay I got this um Ole Henriksen set I'm gonna call him Ole I don't know if it's Ula or Ole or whatever Ole Henriksen, my main man, I found this set. This is a $45 value. They were selling it for $19.99. So it came with a little, let me just take it out because I can. Um, so this was an awesome deal. This was the only one of this set that I found. They did have a bunch of the African red tea. Um, there was like a set for that like line of his products there was tons of those at my store but this was the only one of this set and it came with the enlighten me skin tone corrector and i have a full size of this that i got from marshall's in the past and i really like this serum so i thought this was cool to have like a smaller size it came with a like one time use of the micro mini peel system and it comes with the almond polish the lemon strip flash peel and then the chamomile comfort so this is just like if you wanted to do a pampering night you could use all three of these have like a beautiful face so i thought that was cool and the whole reason i bought this set was for the sheer transformation cream which is a moisturizer i've tried from him in the past and i really love it it's a one fluid ounce $20 for this whole set was incredible and especially to get like a full size of this so I'm really really excited to have this again um it's just a nice basic moisturizer but I really really love it and it says with vitamin C complex li licorice root and pea extract so um this was a really awesome thing and if I found this set again I would totally buy it again okay then I found this cleanser and this is really cool to me this is the rhodial stem cell superfood cleanser and this is a british brand for some reason my marshalls gets like random pieces of like british beauty products like that um that one oil that i got the last time i went to marshalls that was like a british product and so is this one and this said with muslin cloth and that just like 
really caught my attention. This was like behind stuff as well, but I have seen this brand before, maybe on like Carolyn Hiron's videos or something, but um, this was $10 and I looked up reviews first because I didn't want to just like buy it and have it be awful, but the reviews were really, really awesome. So it comes in this gorgeous container. I love the packaging. It comes with a muslin cloth all wrapped up and um, so it just says ultra nourishing cleanser for dehydrated skin and it says massage a small amount onto a dry face and neck rinse with warm water or the muslin cloth in a in hot hand hot water and wipe away cream use morning and evening and so it's just this tub of lusciousness and um, it doesn't really have much of a scent um, I'm super excited to try this. So for $10, that's about the price that I pay for Neutrogena. Um, I thought this would be really, really exciting to try. So I am super excited about that. And then I went back in there because I had a return. I went back there like three times in the same day. It was ridiculous. And when I was checking out after my return, because I of course went shopping after I made the return, I saw these in the checkout line and I almost passed out. Deborah Lipman nail polishes. And not just that they had them, they were $7. $7 for Deborah Lipman. That is literally unheard of. So um, I got two. I could have bought them all. They had so many different ones, but I was trying to be so good and I like lined them all up to try to decide what which ones I liked the most. These were the two I liked. So this I have on my nails right now. This is called Just Dance and this is a magical magical polish so i have it on i have two coats of this on top of one coat of lincoln park at midnight from opi um it is seriously so beautiful and oh, i just can't get over it it is like having sequins like glued to my nails it is so gorgeous and amazing i love deborah Littman, but her polishes are absurdly expensive they're almost $20 um, and the other one I got was today was a fairy tale and it says contains virgin diamond powder oh my god like what that's amazing um, and this I thought was phenomenal as well I have not tried this one yet I like swatched it on my nail but this one's like a really kind of like ice queen type of nail polish and I thought it was super fitting because Just Dance is a name of a Lady Gaga song and she's like my ultimate and then Today Was a Fairy Tale is a Taylor Swift song so um I just thought that was like really cute and I loved it um so yeah this was like the coolest thing I've ever gotten at Marshall's what a freaking bargain seven dollars for Deborah Lippman cheaper than OPI basically the same as Essie if you have a Marshalls, go run and see what you can find. Today I went back because I'm an addict. Um, I didn't get anything, but I was seeing if they had any of the Lipman polishes left, but they didn't. So um, yeah, definitely if you see them, it's one of those places you have to buy it in the moment because it's not going to be there when you go back. So this was my really crazy long random extravagant haul I have bought here and there for a while and it's really added up but I'm super excited about everything I can't believe the great deals from Marshalls the good deals from Sephora and the samples and stuff and then all the DVDs I'm really really excited about because that's like after makeup movies and TV shows are my next obsession so love it okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this if you watched all the way thank you so much I really appreciate it and um it's snowing right now so that's kind of like cool I guess but you know now I'm absolutely freezing and I wasn't gonna wear this scarf in this video but after being outside I was so cold I had to keep it on so um yeah thank you so much so so much for being here I really appreciate it I love you all so much thank you for your kind comments and just being friends to me it is so so awesome and I just really love you all so thank you again I hope that you're having a wonderful week and I will see you guys very soon bye